problem determine the force system okay so first of all i will explain how to resolve the forces okay first of all by method of resolution we are solving this problem so how to resolve these forces okay so this one it is x axis y axis okay suppose this one it is f force f force so angle it is with respect to theta angle it is with respect to theta angle it is with respect to theta okay so angle it is with respect to x axis so we resolve it is in two direction one it is f cos theta and on y axis it will be f sin theta f sin theta okay so this one it is resolved if angle it is with respect to x axis then on x axis it will be take f cos theta and on y axis it will be take f sin theta on x axis it will be f cos theta on y axis it will be f sin theta okay this one it is method of resolution if suppose if it is angle it is with respect to y axis if suppose this one is with respect to y axis if suppose angle it is with respect to y axis that it will be y axis so it will be f cos theta f cos theta on x axis on y axis and on x axis it will be f sin theta f sin theta okay this is how to resolve the forces we have seen okay so now resolve all the forces so here resolve all the forces first step resolve all the forces resolve all the forces forces resolve all the forces first of all resolve the 20 newton force on x axis and y axis okay so angle it is with respect to x axis so it will be 20 cos 30 20 cos 30 on x axis on y axis it will be 20 sin 30 20 sin 30 okay then resolve this 30 newton resolve this one 30 newton here we will resolve these forces also So on x axis it is 30 cos 45 30 cos 45 just a minute right down below 30 cos 45 on x axis on y axis it will be 30 sin 45 30 sin 45 30 sin 45 okay then this one resolve this 35 newton force on x axis and on y axis okay then this one it is 35 cos 40 cos 40 on x axis on y axis it will be 35 sin 40 35 sin 40 okay this is method of resolution we resolve all the forces okay now sum of all horizontal forces sum of all horizontal forces sum of all the horizontal forces okay some of all the horizontal forces. So for that, there is one assumption. If the force it is going right side, it will be take positive. If the force it is going right side, this one it will be take positive. If the force it is going left side, if the force it is going left side, it will be take negative. It will be take negative. The direction of force it is going right side, it will be take positive, and if the direction of force it is going left side, it will be take negative. Okay. So sum of all the forces. Okay. So first of all, summation f summation f x is equal to I will write on here. Algebraic sum of all the horizontal forces. Summation f x is equal to. So first of all, this 20 cos 30, 20 cos 30 it is going right side. So it will be take positive. Okay. This force it is going 20 cos 30, it is going right side. Okay. So it will be 20 
cos 30, 20 cos 30. Then this 30 cos 45 is going left side. It will be taken negative. Okay. Here, this one it is 30 cos 45 it is going left side. So minus direction it is 30 cos 45. Okay. Then next one it is it is 35. 35 cos 40 it is also going left side. So it will be minus 35 cos 40. 35 cos 40. Okay. So these are the three forces acting on horizontal direction. This one first 20 cos 31st, 30 cos 45 second and 35 cos 40 it will be third force. Okay. So calculate summation of fx is equal to from this relation. You get summation of fx is equal to algebraic sum of all the horizontal forces. Okay. So 20 cos 30 then minus 30 cos 45 then minus 35 cos 40 okay so summation fx is equal to minus minus 30.704 30.704 newton okay newton so now calculate sum of all sum of all vertical forces some of the all vertical forces some of all the vertical forces that is summation f y is equal to summation of summation of f y is equal to summation of f y is equal to so for that assumption and the force going it is upward it will be take positive the force it is going upward this one it will be take positive if the force going it is in downward direction it will be take negative the force going it is in downward direction this one it will be take negative negative okay so now first it is 20 sin 30 is going upward direction okay this one 20 sin 30 it is going upward direction take positive 20 sin 20 sin 30 then this 25 it is also going upward direction so plus 25 then plus 30 sine the so second one it is 25 okay 25 we are taken then 30 sine 45 it is going also upward direction so plus 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 30 sine 45 then last one it is 35 sine 40 it is going downward direction so minus minus 35 sine 40 35 sine 40 so summation of f y is equal to now calculate summation of algebraic sum of all the vertical force summation of f y is equal to summation of f y is equal to so 20 sine 30 then plus 25 then plus 30 sin 45, then minus 35 sin 40. Okay. So it will be 33.715. 33.715 Newton. Okay. This is summation fx and summation of y. Now calculate resultant of force. Magnitude of resultant of force. I will write down here. So magnitude magnitude of resultant magnitude of resultant of force magnitude of resultant of force that is in bracket r is in bracket r is equal to now r is equal to r is equal to root of root of root of summation of fx square summation of summation of algebraic sum of all the horizontal forces that is summation of fx square summation of fx square plus 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 summation of summation of fy square plus summation of 
f y square summation of f y square summation of f y square okay so r is equal to root of root of root of root of summation f x square it will be how much it will be in bracket minus 30 point seven zero four square square plus plus summation f y it will be thirty three point seven five thirty three point seven one five bracket square bracket square bracket from this relation it will get resultant resultant of force r is equal to so now 30.704 square plus 33.715 square so root of answer it will get 45.6 45.600 newton okay this one it is magnitude of resultant force now calculate direction of resultant force now calculate direction of resultant force. Second question: direction of direction of resultant force. Direction of resultant force. Direction of resultant force. That is tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to summation of summation of F Y. Summation of F Y. Summation of F Y divided by summation of F X divided by summation of F X summation of F X summation of F X okay so summation of F Y by F X it will be summation of F Y at is thirty three point seven one five divided by divided by you are right. summation of fx it is minus 30 point 704 704 okay so theta is equal to theta is equal to tan inverse tan inverse tan inverse in bracket in bracket in that 33.715 divided by 30.704 okay so it will be 1.0980 okay so you will take directly it will be positive no problem okay so theta is equal to theta is equal to it will be theta is equal to 10 inverse of answer so it will be 47. Point 47.676 degree. Okay. This is your answer. Okay. So resultant of magnitude of resultant. This is direction of resultant. Okay. So just locate this force where it will be acted. So just draw x axis, y axis, x axis and y axis. So first of all, summation fx it is negative value. We got summation fx it is negative. Means we'll, this one it is negative, and this one it is positive. This one it will be negative on y-axis, and this one it will be positive, positive of x-axis, positive of x-axis. Okay. So we got summation fx it is negative. Means we it is left side, and we got summation f y it will be positive. Means it will be in this quadrant it is in located it is in third quadrant, second quadrant here okay so resultant r is equal to here r is equal to 45.6 newton 45.6 newton and angle it is angle it is how much it is 47.676 47.676 okay and this one it is direction okay it is located in 90 to 90 to 180 angle between 90 to 180 okay so 
this one it is direction and this one it will be result.